Hey there, welcome to the QB Show. My name is Stacey Kildall, and my co-hosts are Woody Adams and Dawn Brolin. We want to ask you guys to take a couple minutes to visit each one of our sponsors and check them out. They've been helping us bring this show to you for the last four years. We have Avalara.com, making sales tax less taxing. They will calculate and pay your sales tax liability and take care of all of your returns as well. We have tsheets.com. This is probably the number one employee rated time tracking application on the planet, if not the galaxy, and an amazing team of people behind it. We have Skyline Hosting by UnidataIT.com. This is where we host all of our QuickBooks uh, software as well as our other software like Microsoft Office. So please take a minute and visit them, and I hope you enjoy our show. That was my problem. That's okay. So hey, everybody. Welcome to the QB Show. I have been gone for about three weeks traveling I was on vacation. Uh, the first week and then last week uh, and the week before, I was on a plane doing the live QBO certification training. So I want to welcome you to the QB Show, uh, January 20th. 2015. This is my first show of the new year. Uh, we're waiting for Woody to log in. He may or may not uh, be <laughs> coming in. I think he's having some technical issues. I heard him playing the guitar a couple minutes ago, but then he dropped out. Uh, Dawn, why don't you introduce yourself and talk about what's going on with you? Oh, uh, yeah. I, uh, okay. Um, my name is Dawn Roland, I suppose. Um, CPA from Connecticut, and we are in the middle of the death trap. So that's called January. Um, you, know our other, you, you know what? I'm um, calling you out on that because it's not that big of one because you're going on a little vacation. Well, that's not vacation. I'm going to a conference. No, no, you're going on a little thing with your mom, a little cruise. On the oh, yeah, but that's at the, that's at the end of January. I so, yeah, so right now I'm in the death trap, though. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. It's good. It's it good. Is good. So we're getting it done. But, and what about you? I see a cat. So there's a cat. So oh, there's two. There's so you got to finish it, right? So that's wow. the, uh, for those of you who are new to the QB show. Uh, hashtag uh, QB show live on Twitter, and there's also a hashtag that our girls from Tally created called Sea Cat Drink. So whenever you see a cat on my screen, you are required to take a drink if you have. Uh, any sort of beverage in front of you. If you have, if you see more than one cat at a time, then you have to finish what you have. So um, there's that. Uh, I'm doing really well. I'm pretty much okay with this January. So for me, I don't have to do any returns. I just, uh, aside from like payroll, end of year payroll, and and things like that. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we're just about wrapping that up. I think we have a couple 1099s left that we have to do, and that's about it. I'm just trying to catch up from basically, this is the first week I have been in the office all year. So I've been pretty much out of office, there's a cat, um, the entire year. So that's what I'm I'm struggling with. So Woody, are you, I see Woody, but I, I, don't, I don't hear. Woody. We have 57 companies with 1099s to get out, so we're doing awesome. Um, I'm sorry about yeah, that. One of them has 160, Ian, is that correct? 160. So I, we're, that's well, what we're doing. You know what, those are, um, I don't want that. I don't want that. You can do that stuff and that's fine. Uh, with we it. love it. I don't want Well, we found what, one of the reasons we love it is because year-end has to be wrapped up and then we've actually already filed returns today tax returns because we've wrapped up the books at year end and we are filing returns, partnership returns and it's pretty amazing. Yep. That's kind of cool. Thank you, I'm, Ian. I don't envy you guys for that at all. I'm just going to say. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. I don't. I do not at all. So I'm just no, gonna... We don't have Woody. Uh, yeah, so he just texted me and he emailed me, so I told him to reboot um, and that we can see him, but we can't hear him. I could hear him earlier playing the guitar, but I, uh, that was it. So then he dropped out, so I told him to reboot his computer and try again, so we'll okay. see. 
Uh, we, we have, <coughs> I want to spend a couple minutes to talk about our sponsors. We have some really amazing sponsors on our show. We're really picky uh, about the sponsors that we take on. Uh, we have Avalara.com or Avatax. They do uh, sales tax management and it's an amazing tool. Uh, it's like bar none. I, if I, once Marketplace Fairness Act passes, which I know it will, I'm basically going to throw all of my clients on it because I have so many clients that kind of sell online. Uh, so Avalara.com. Um, we have Unidata IT, which I just want to take one few quick seconds to talk yet again about their amazing customer service. So we have a client who is on Unidata. They are on desktop, and they're a union uh, plumbing company. Um, such sweet, wonderful, nice people, and they always, uh, they seem to sometimes struggle with their login, and then they yeah, think, can you guys hear me at all? Yay, we can hear you. I can't see your face. I can see your logo, but I can't hear you. Can't see your face. Um, so with Unidata, uh, w she always kind of gets a little confused when she, she oh, there he is. Uh, Yay. She gets a little confused because if she can't log into her Unidata account and she forgets to disconnect and log out, and so then when they go re-log in, they have some problems, and she always thinks that it's us that needs to take care of it. And she's very, very sweet, so she will text uh, my partner, Shannon, and she'll say, hey, Shannon, I can't get in again. Can you help me? And so we basically just we have like a direct line with Kevin at Unidata and we say, Kevin, can you can you please call them again? And he does and he gets them all taken care of and they're amazing and super helpful. And the last one is that I want to talk about is T Sheets. And you know what? Before I talk about T Sheets, or maybe Dawn, you could talk about T Sheets while I just get a sip of water here. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I actually uh, I do. We use it in our company, which we love. We love using it in our company. I like to drink out of my tea sheets water bottle. Uh, I'm just gonna say that's very nice water bottle. That's very nice. I don't drink water, so I I do um, drink water. Lots so, of but that's yeah, tea sheets. You got to be using tea sheets. You you got to be. I mean, without a doubt. So Woody, how yes. are you? You made it. Glad to see Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what happened. Uh, I could see the little pictures of you guys, but I wasn't seeing or hearing anything. Hmm. I had a problem getting in, but that was me. It was total user error. So did you reboot? No, I just I kept trying and trying, and then finally I, you guys could hear me again. A little train that could. Now, I got to see you a couple weeks ago. I was really, really sick, though, so I didn't yeah, really get to see you. Uh, I was doing the QBO certification, and I was in Dallas. And yes. I woke up. And uh, was I had no voice. I was screaming at everybody, but it was coming out as a whisper. And I ended up having to Uber. <laughs> this was so... I'm just going to tell you, there's not yeah. a lot of things that are as sad as having to take an Uber car to the urgent care. Yeah, and then having to Uber it over to Walmart to get your prescription filled. Um, I had like 102 <laughs> fever. And oh. uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. So I did get to see you for a couple minutes, but I really, I slept most of the day. And for me, that's that means I'm really, really sick. Is if I if I nap. So, right. Yeah. Yeah, I had to drive down just for the test because I was home ill too, and then the next day I was worse. So yeah, it was bad. It was, was a tough week. For we sure. were both sickies, I will say. Yeah, I still got ear ear pain, but I'm using drops, which is nice. But other than that, I feel pretty good. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, but you know it's been good. It's it's good to be back home, not traveling for a while. I was in Tucson last week for for uh, job stuff, so it's nice to be home. And uh, did a big presentation today for a, a probably one of the largest accounting firms in the country, and so that was fun. They had a bunch of different locations show up, and it was on QBO, QBO, QBOA. Nice. Good stuff. Yep, that's what we're doing. Um, did you guys go through all the, the normal stuff we go through at the beginning of the show? Or we did. Did John get updates we did with clients? Yeah, we can dig right into it. I actually I might have to drop off for just a second, like meet myself mm -hmm. and come back. But mm -hmm. you have some screen share stuff that you want to do. You want to talk about a report in QBO, yeah? Yeah, there's a... Um, let me go ahead and share out now. And there is a... And I'll be right back. Fine. All right, go ahead. There is a report... And I'm sharing now. Uh, and this is, John, this is this is QuickBooks on. Do you see Abby there? I yeah. do. She's so cute. 
Yeah, she's pretty funny. She's uh, she eats a lot. She likes to eat. She's really having fun. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's cool. And um, you know, there's a report that I was I got a question from an accountant who emailed me, and this is QuickBooks Online, but it's actually the same report as in desktop. However, desktop's a little different how it does it. And I think what I'll do is I'll I'm going to open, while I'm opening desktop, I'll go, go into QBO and set it up. It is the, now Don, you probably use this report too, right? It's the transaction detail by account report. Do you use that report too? Um, no. Not really? Oh, I thought it was a, uh, I always think it's a report that you guys use Show often. it to me. Show me which one you're talking about. Yeah, it's an accountant report, and um, once I get desktop up, I'll show you too. It's transaction detail by account. So you can look at all the transactions in particular. Oh, it's a general account. ledger. That's what it really. Okay. Kind of, but it's not. I mean, I guess it could be, but it's for some reason it's separate. I mean, desktop has it too. It's not like you know, QBO just decided to create some other report you guys don't need. It it is a report in desktop as well, and it's in the accountant and taxes sub menu of reports in the desktop What's file. What's the difference between that and the general ledger? And exactly, I am not really sure. All right. It looks I'm very just similar. It looks very similar. Hmm. And um, but the accountant and taxes here, transaction detail by account. Hmm. So if I do all dates. But notice there is something different, isn't it? Doesn't it look like a general ledger? See, here's everything in checking. Yeah, that's why maybe I use a general ledger, but I didn't know necessarily about this. But that's good. Interesting. Good that's stuff. Cool. So Customizing by, like, say, a particular account, filters account, and then I can choose, say, I don't know, undeposited funds, and we'll do um, we'll do payments as the transaction type. And you can do that, but there's just, you know, so I have that. Now, in QBO, a little different. Let me do transaction type payments. And so these are all the payments in undeposited funds, and I can filter by a particular year. Maybe we'll just do this year to date. Uh, let's do last year. Last year. Okay. Payments on deposit funds last year. Now, QBO, I can do the same thing, but there is a difference. So here's the problem. They're using this report to filter by, like, sub-accounts, like sub-balance sheet accounts. They're other assets. Maybe they're using them for vendor deposits or prepaid expenses or something like that. So they have other current assets and then they have sub-accounts under those, and they're trying to filter by the sub-accounts. And the report keeps coming up blank, so it it's, looks like it could be a bug. However, and I was talking with our friend Laura Redman, she knows tons about this too, and here's the same report in QBO, and if I click on the lists, which is filter, and I'll do transaction type, you know, payment or whatever, and then under positive funds, but she's doing the sub-accounts, well, let's just do all, Let's let's not let's just do all the all the types. She's actually see how you have account you have distribution account here, Don? Yeah. Which I think might confuse people. Distribution account is like the target account uh, on the transaction. Um, so she's choosing like the balance sheet accounts up here, and she's using these other current asset accounts on in the target area on transactions. So she's these are vendor deposits or prepaid expenses or something like that. But, She's using that, cur tracking them as other current assets, and I'm, I'm assuming there is a reason for that and, and a total reason to happen. But she's filtering the sub accounts when you select multiple, because you can do that in QBO too. She's filtering the subs, and I'll just do, you know, these ones. It's totally blank when she's doing the account, and I'm not sure why, but when she filters that, it's the report is is coming up blank, so looks to be a bug. See, I don't have it either. However, watch this, and I know I have data uh, for all dates in those accounts. If I customize it, and this time I go down to lists, and instead of filtering by the account here, and I'm going to go back to um, all accounts here, I do distribution account. Distribution account is where you want to do the filter, because the these other current assets are actually on transactions in the bottom part of the transactions, which is a target area. Does it make sense? No, not really. But yeah, no, no, no. It totally makes so, sense. Yeah. So uh, she's doing it up top. Now, when I do it for these, and I should have some amounts in there. Let's see what happens now. I should have some data. Yeah. So 
so she thinks it's a bug, and people are going out in the forums and they're reading it and saying, "Oh yeah, support says it can't be done." But that's because it, when you customize the report in QBO, and it's not just for the transaction detail by account; it's by other accounts. You need to consider where's the account on the form that I want to pull from. In in desktop, we don't have this other distribution account thing. I, I always wonder if if the split is it, but I don't think that's it. I, I just don't think so. I think the coding is a little different. You know, include split detail for details matching. You know, I don't really know if this is the distribution account. I'm not really sure. Can't hassle and guess. But I know for a fact that in QuickBooks Online, if you're trying to filter a report by accounts and you're using account because it makes sense, oh, I'm just going to filter up here, right? I mean, why not? It says account. I'm going to filter here. And it's blank. It's You should probably try the distribution account. And then data shows up. So these transactions hitting the other current asset or the prepaid expense are in the bottom side of the transactions. Distribution is that. That's the target area of forms in in uh, QBO, you know, or de distribution. So I just wanted to hash that out. I don't really know if that really helps anybody, but it was interesting. It came up today, uh, and uh, Casey and I decided we would go ahead and give it a go. So I will stop sharing. Good work. All right, back at it. So yeah, Stacy, it worked. It's got to be that. I think Laura Redmond was correct. Not filtering by... Oh, Stacy's muted. Okay. No, that's awesome. There's a cat is all I wanted to mention. But oh. um, I'm going to deal with a, an issue that Dawn just texted me about. And I have a solution before we... Um, she has some clients. And just so that rather than text this, I'm wondering, Dawn, are they logging in? What website are they using to log in that they're seeing other other accounts that are not theirs. Are they well, going just, to qboa.intuit.com? So, so we just tested it. They go to qbo.intuit.com and they live their life and that's what they're doing. Right. But we were having so much trouble uh, trying to get QBOA where we could invite other people in the firm. Let me finish. I know. Let other people in the firm join because we have some people working on W-2 stuff and other person's working on 1099s and then I'm trying to work on year-end books. And so we're all we're trying to have three people and we can't. So we've been we've been trying the QBOA and trying to invite all the firm members and it keeps on bouncing us back to the old version and So my I'm going to interrupt and my question is what yep. website are you guys using to log into QBOA because if if you're using qboa.intuit.com or office.intuit.com stop doing that just go even as the accountant user just go to qbo.intuit.com and we can invite firm user, other firm users. You will be logged in yeah. as the accountant user. I, yes. Um, there's no more other e like website addresses. It's all QBO. Right, but only only if she's been migrated to the new QBOA. If she you hasn't been. They'll use goes... other users, but they just won't. Ha you won't be able to do the access. So I can't log in. I can't access my QBOA accounts if I go to any other and log into any other website other than qboa.intuit.com or qbo.intuit.com, and I still haven't been migrated. None of those other websites work. The only way Shannon and I can get into QBOA, and we're still on the old QBOA, is if we go to qbo.intuit.com. So try that. So basically. We can only have one person then logging no, in. No, you can still have. You should still be able to invite the other users, but you just need to log in, even as the accountant user, via qbo.intuit.com. And also make sure that you guys are clearing your history and clearing your cache. If you need to, create a new Chrome user or use incognito mode so that the cookies don't get all like the history and the cache doesn't jack up the accounts. Um, so I would first use like in, go into Chrome. Make sure you're using Chrome, which you know. Um, try logging in via incognito mode, and then also go to qbo.intuit.com. If that doesn't work, email me, and I will hook you up with the QBO people that you need to talk to. Well, do you want to show us what's happening, and then maybe I can try well, to Well, no, it? because then she's got to log in. And her, she's going to see clients. So, see her clients. Yeah, okay. going, if I log into qbo.intuit.com, the list of my clients are there. And I can get in, and I can invite two people. You can invite up to two accounting or bookkeeping firms to be. Otherwise, we have to be added as users if we want more than two. Right, which you don't want to do. If you don't no, want to do it, but you should you still be. Shut able, that you thing. can't even with QBOA, the old QBOA. You could still add people on your team. 
but they would have access to all. Oh, honey, you can bring her in for a second. That'll be fine. Right, which would be can, totally fine. Yeah, she can walk over. Yeah, so you can still in QBOA, you should still be able to add users to your QBOA account. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you know what? So try those, and maybe after this, or maybe tomorrow, you and I, or maybe uh, Anne and I can do like a screen share. We'll do a hangout, and I can see what she's trying to do. So before we get like the the dev team, the development team like involved, let me see if I can try and help you, or Woody uh, can help you. Because I think it's yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Because you Dawn? you should only need. Dawn. She's talking to somebody. <laughs> And I'm talking to Anne. And she's I know, but did you hear? What did you hear? What I said? Like first, clear your go log in via incognito mode. I don't know so, what that means. Can you show me what that is? I don't even. I yeah. know what I'm yeah, going to share. share. So go ahead. Hold on one moment. You don't want me. I don't know. There. Oh, I see new incognito yeah. window. Yeah. Right. So can you guys see my screen? Ooh. Yep. So if you go over here. New incognito window. You're going to click on the little settings or I don't know what, the little ladder. Yeah, yeah you're right. And then you'll do new incognito mode. And then you want to log in to qbo.intuit.com. And if you guys hang on one second, I'm going to, um, I'm going to log in to mine really quick. And... Um, yeah, I'm not, everybody's not in here. And you should be able to invite a user. So uh, hang on one second. I can't. I can't in your QBO a account. I don't see everybody. I, I don't see all the. I don't see all of our clients in the list anymore. Two and immediately. Okay, right. so we'll figure. Like, so I just logged in. Um, so I should be able. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is asking me to set this up. Hi, Abby girl. Hi, baby girl. That's too bad we couldn't see it. Abby wanted to try to troubleshoot it too, Don. Right. <laughs> She's so she cute. She can help. So let me set right. this up really quick. Yeah. Yeah. And then um. Yeah. She's all. Is she all? I'm missing it. Oh, it's alright. She's still hanging out. That's okay. So, Don, I think it's, I've seen this before, so I think it would be cool just to see what's going on. Um, yeah. I'm not migrated to the new QBA, but I created a new login to bring me there, and then I can invite all my staff. If you guys could get to office.intuit.com, you can invite all your staff and just hang there for a while. And then you'd only need one account user on all your QBO client files, so you don't need all these account users, just the one, and then wait till we migrate you. Yeah. All right, so Which now I, I've heard, by the way, is going to is pushed back to, you know, between now and the end of June. June? Yeah, the, the tax yeah. preparer people are not happy. I'm just going to. No, make it I know. Oh, June? Know. Oh, look yeah, at that. Yeah, that's what I heard on the webinar today. She, yeah. Even she's like June. Look at her face, June, Dad. Yeah. June. <laughs> she's got a kickback and everything. Are you kidding me, Dad? Are you kidding, June? So cute. Look it at those. Totally teeth. is. Well, so she anyway. Is. Like another thing too, Dawn, that you could try to do, um, and I know it's kind of a pain in the ass, but so one of the other things that you could do is you could actually create a new accountant user um, and like sign up for new QBOA with like QBOA at powerfulaccounting.com mm -hmm. and invite yourself as the accountant user so that you'll have the new QBOA and then remove yourself as the old accountant user. So if it was like Dawn at Powerful Accounting was the accountant user before, on you your can client up, files. Yeah, yeah, in your client files, like as the accountant user. So what you want to do is basically like add yourself again, like sign up for new QBOA with a new email address, and yeah. and then you'll be able to add your staff, and you can assign accounts to everybody who needs to be uh, or give everybody access. So that's another thing. And if you want, you and I can kind of figure it out tomorrow. If you want, like we can, do, I can do a screen share with you. I don't want you to screen share because I don't want everybody to see your yeah. clients. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, we could do that. Yeah, because we 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 yeah, we just need to figure that out. But that's definitely something I think that um, for if people are out there and they're not yes, they're everyone not will the benefit. Trouble, they got should call in or something. You know, I just everyone will benefit from that. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, let me um here. Let me show you what I think is happening. 
I'm going to share out. And thanks for letting me uh, have Abby come on for a minute. Oh, she's so cute, but she did, she talked too much. Yeah, she's she's doing well. I don't know. She's doing well. She's just staring at the screen. So you guys see my screen now, and, and this woodvo at gmail.com, this is my office.intuit.com login. What Stacy's saying is I can still just go to QBO, and there's my clients, right? You see your clients can go in, but there's no way for me to invite, you know, Wendy and Annie and all these people to this realm because I'm only in QBO. Yeah. So I, I can see where you are with that, and it's, it's that that's one of the problems. If I were to go to office.intuit.com, then you can go. That's what I meant. Yeah, you can because go my invite your woodbow, yeah. my woodbow is not um, has not yet been migrated. I created what Stacy's suggesting is you create another just email on your firm domain for QUA if you if you want to go now and you, you know and we're encouraging people though to wait actually um, if you can. And if you're using qboa.intuit.com or office.intuit.com, so if I go in as, as Woodvo here at gmail.com and then sign in, then I should then I'd be able to at least be in um, QBOA generation two. So, you know, not the new one, but the one we just had, and that's where we introduced the wholesale billing, as well as the ability to invite my team. Yeah. So if you went to office.intuit.com, because you guys have QBOA, somebody does, so instead of going to QBOA.intuit.com, just go to office.intuit.com. You'll see all your clients because you're, you're because that login to office is the account user. I mean, I didn't change it at all. But there's here's where I can invite my staff, right? I can go in here and go to yeah. uh, manage users. And then I can invite Wendy and Annie and everybody. And... Uh, then just wait, just hang tight and wait till we migrate, you know, you to the new QBOA. Then you don't really have to change anything. Um, so, I mean, Stacy just goes to QBO because she has, you know, her her client she works on. If you guys need five or six people viewing the same list, use office.intuit.com until we migrate you. But the you old know what? one. Even yeah. that doesn't even work. I can't even I can't even log in with that. So if I want to do really? any work, yeah, if I can't access any of my client stuff, and we have two different QBOA accounts, because when Shan first started working with me, I had to set we couldn't you couldn't assign user rights, so I had to set up a separate QBOA account for her. So to look at the accounts that she sort of deals with on a daily basis, I have to log in with that that user and then the clients that I work on, I have to log in with my QBOA. So and you will be able to consolidate soon. I will. I know and I can't wait. Okay. But what I think we I might do rather than wait is just create that QBOA at killedallservices.com and just switch out the account and user so that we just have it. And then I don't have to worry about getting migrated. I'll just have it and then not worry about it. Because my I have such realm issues it's it's right. ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I mean, so are you going to create a whole new never Intuit.com's never seen email? Yes, I'm going to. It's going to be a brand new email that I'm going to set up in Good. my Kill Services email account, and it's going to be like QBOA at KillAllServices.com, um, and it'll be brand new. And that way, I can just not for my client stuff. I can just not worry about what login I have because it's it's just my after 10 almost 10 years of doing training yeah. for Intuit my Intuit IDs like my I have such realm issues I yeah. it's it's ridiculous like I, I have to have a special support call that I've been putting off for close to a year for them um, for them to fix so oh by the way uh, these are cats so um, if you're doing the cat game uh, these are cats on my pants so you might want to take a drink just FYI, these are these are cats. There's a kitty. So sorry, Don. I mean, and Stacy. That's. I think that. I mean, I have realm issues too, and with logins, and I, for me, it doesn't really matter. I just create a whole new email. I think that if you're okay, and and I, we were just, I was just talking with someone about this at, in Tucson. If you're in no hurry to migrate to the new QBA, and there's no real reason for you to be there, but you want the the consolidated list. That your staff can see. Then just do the office.intuit.com till we migrate you. Yeah. Um, I mean, the whole city, sure, there's a lot of cool new stuff in the new one, and eventually between now and I thought it was the end of March, but then in the 
webinar today, Katie Peterson said the end of June. So I, I didn't. I thought it was the end of March, and I. One of the marketing managers said it would be like in two months. Where we don't really want to, because I, I told him about the June rumor, and he's like, "No, we're not waiting that long." So, I'm hoping it's the end of March, right? But you'll yeah. still be knee deep in tax season, Don, and stuff like that. I don't want to talk about it. But Woody, okay. I want to thank you for your help on the connection with Lacert today. Oh, did it, did it? Yeah, you know, I guess it was uh, Keith had files on the lo his local C that weren't on the Citrix server, and he couldn't, he didn't have rights to move them. So. Yeah, so, but I thank you for that. Well, because he spent a good two hours with somebody else in LaCert support last week, and he was tired of that. So I yeah, no, and Doug's, <laughs> Doug's really, that. Doug's a smart guy. He's he's not even in systems, but was able to figure out what was going on, so that's yeah. cool. He's an animal, that Doug. So awesome. I won't say his last name. No, he's cool, and uh, so I'm glad that worked out. Um, oh, you know what was really fun? Check this out. Let me share out one more thing. You know when you let's stay on this QBO theme just because Don loves it. I know, right? You know when you know, <laughs> you know, like, you know, no, you know no. when you're here. You know when um, you start a new trial of QuickBooks Online. I found this out today, and it was painful. I had to work with an accountant to finally figure it out. You know when you're on a new trial of QuickBooks Online, payrolls turned on, whether you want it or not. Mm -hmm. Payrolls turned on automatically. I know. Isn't that annoying? So, it, and, and it is because if for people who don't know, and you get an email, you get an email saying, hey, you're about to be charged for payroll, and they're like, why? Well, I'm just needing QuickBooks Online. So, what I realized is there is a way to prevent the, uh, the payroll from going through. And, I, and there's two scenarios. And this should be helpful to some, because for whatever reason, the free trial, I've not yet found a way to sign up for a free trial oh. at QBO without having payroll activated. I don't think it's possible. So it's kind of one of those things where you have to stop it before you get charged, which isn't hard because, but where is it? So I'm going to go into this file that, um, oh, wait, this is not a free trial. Let me go into this one. There you go. So, and it's a 30-day trial I'm in, and this will be a lot of people's scenarios. And how you go do it is this. If you already have subscribed to QuickBooks Online, when you go to the gear icon your account, there'll be an edit billing info tab um, on the billing info page and when you click on that you'll see a blue link to cancel payroll. However, if you haven't subscribed yet, see I'm still on a trial through February 19th. If you click subscribe now, even though, you know, and then you, it brings up this window, here's the box, payroll, just uncheck it. And then I'm only going to subscribe for QuickBooks Online. So you can do it at any time, you know, Eventually, you got to put in a credit card, you know, day 25, day 29, whatever, um, or else it'll just be, you know, suspended to you under the credit card. Just remember to uncheck payroll if you don't want payroll. Or, okay? you know what? I have another solution. Yeah. Can I interrupt? Just email yeah. me, and I'll put the order in through IRP, through Intuit Reseller, or Dawn, because she's a reseller too, and that won't happen. And we'll get you nice. 35, and we'll get you 35% off the subscription. Uh, for the life is that for life of the sub? Is for the for life, life of the, the sub? sub, yep. That is awesome. And here's what I love about it. Like, you get a better yeah. discount through wholesale billing, right? You get the 50%. But, but only 15 more percent. Right, but you're, I mean, for 10, I mean, for like, especially for, like, Simple Starter Essentials, I mean, it's really not that much money. Nominal. But, like, what I like about it bet is that with wholesale billing, yeah, you get 50% off, but you, as a pro advisor, are responsible for the client billing. If you right. order through Dawn or I as an, an Intuit reseller and IRP, you don't have to worry about that. You put it in and the client gets a really well, good discount yeah. and you get that's a commission awesome. and we share, I don't know about Dawn, but I share commissions 50-50. So uh, whatever commission I get on that QBO account, I will split with you and give you half of it, and nice. um, yeah. So, and that way you don't have to worry about this payroll stuff. It's it's just it doesn't it just doesn't happen. Right, because you can control it better, and it's still thirty five percent off for life, which is just fifteen percent shy. But you're right, for essentials is pretty nominal, a few few dollars here or there a month. I, that's great. That's yeah. sweet. You guys have a good deal with the into a reseller program. I Absolutely. love it, and I also I want to. I also want to point out that because there are no cats in the background, Kelsey uh, from T Sheets just mentioned Sea Cat Drink. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna force it, uh, and I'm gonna say, 
Uh, here, where's a kitty? Uh, here's a kitty right here. There's one right there. Growling. So here, there's a cat. So see cat drink. So go ahead, yeah. Kelsey. Take a drink. Sorry, I had to do that. You know, and speaking of tea sheets, um, one of their oh, awesome sure. long. Let's well, talk awesome, about tea sheets. One of their long, awesome, long time employees uh, is expecting. Gonna have a baby soon, which Greta. is really cool. Greta. Give a shout out to Greta. I think that's awesome. Greta, she's, my... she's very, she's very cool and wonderful. So congratulations to her and her family. That's cool. She was. Uh, I emailed her today about project tracking. And you know, because they have a cool report um, on tracking projects, t sheets, but yeah. it's not really like you can't track the cost uh, of it, you know. So right, I still you can think, track the hours on it, and yeah, then use yeah, that hours to calculate the, on the job. Cost. Exactly, and and it has good, it has great charts and graphs. But so that was very helpful. So that came up today too, and um, there was one other really cool thing. Um, oh, I learned how multi. And also, wait, wait, wait! I just want to mention with Greta. Right. There's a real cat, just so that you see. There's a real cat behind me, not a fake one on my pants. Um, Greta is probably one of the cutest darn pregnant chicks ever. Like, I was one of those pregnant chicks that was kind of a beast, like a huge, beastly creature. And Greta is quite possibly, I'm going to just say, the cutest darn pregnant girl I've ever seen. She's one of those people where if you saw her <coughs> from any angle other than the side, you wouldn't even know she was pregnant, whereas it didn't matter what direction you looked at me from, I was like this hulking pregnant beast. And I just think she's so adorable and I'm so excited for her. And I just want to say that. That's awesome. Um, let's see here. What was I... There was something going on too. Another cool issue that I thought was, was interesting. Um, oh, I figured out how to uh, do multi-currency in QuickBooks Online today. Uh, I really? was in the I was in the Canadian version because it's yeah. not in the U.S. yet, but it's coming. It's coming in the U.S. and it behaves very much like it does in desktop. The multi-currency module. It, it does. The same kind yeah. of thing. Yep. Almost identical. They're almost mirrored images of each other. I have been, been complaining find. about the fact that uh, we do not have it here for. Well, when did the Canadian version? When did I write the training stuff for the Canadian version? Uh, three years ago. Well, yeah, it's been in the global for a long time. Yeah. Every global version has it, but we don't. I don't get that. <laughs> so, what ifs? You know, what ifs? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And Dawn, so, um, did you have anything interesting yeah. happen in your practice that, aside from your uh, QBOA that you want to mention or talk about? You guys have anything going on? Yeah, we got a ton of stuff, wonderful stuff going on. What are you doing in Atlanta? What uh, engagement are you doing? We have a small business uh, seminar uh, Thursday and Friday. What's it called? Where's it uh, at? More information? Is there still time to register? No. It's not. It's a private small business. Oh. It's like a. It's like this. So I'm speaking. Yeah. There's going to be only five, um, five of the businesses there on Thursday and then 40 on Friday. Wow. 40. Oh, no, but it's not like an open. It's not like an open event. Yeah, right. Fair right. enough. So, um, so that's going to be kind of fun. So I got to go to Atlanta. Um, that'll be good. Be good stuff. Awesome. So what, are, what, are you, what are you going to talk about? Um, how to run the, you know, helping the, helping those small businesses, making sure that they're, um, you know, tracking their stuff right, making sure that they're taking advantage of all the deductions they could possibly take advantage of, but yet not doing it illegally. Um, and also, I don't know what anyone else is doing, but right now, um, I'm using TripLog as my um, my travel app. So for people who uh, and everyone should be. So um, it's just, I just found it on on uh, the in the App Center, and I really like it. I don't know what it's not into it QuickBooks related type of thing, but I really needed to start reimbursing myself for travel. And so literally, it's called TripLog, and you just when you drive off of the uh, you know, I get in my car and I hit start. It GPS tracks me. As of course, I'm always logged into T sheets as well. But it will report the miles, and I can email myself a report and reimburse myself for miles because it's an S corp. You're not supposed. What are you laughing at? I'll smack you, Woody. Uh, um, Stacy's Stacy's tweet about at what Abby was saying with her face. Oh, sorry. I, right, I retweeted that. I retweeted that. I think that was Hogan that did that. I think that was <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> that right, is cute. That's fine. 
Oh, Sorry, yeah. Dawn. Talking to myself. <laughs> no problem. No, no you're not. not. We're listening. Mm -hmm. You're not listening. What about when you fly? Does it track like all of your um, like? Can you take pictures and put your expenses in, or is it just for when you drive? No, I use Tally for the expense reporting. That's what I but thought. I use, um, but this is for strictly mileage tracking. Okay. Um, the IRS is very, very diligent about business use of vehicle, and people better start tracking it. And you better have proof, or they're gonna they're gonna decline it, cut it in half, or get rid of it entirely for you, and you'll owe taxes. So I'm not gonna do that. And as an S corp, I have to reimburse myself for mileage. There's no UPEs as an S corp, so I'm I need to make sure that I'm reimbursing myself for my miles. Um, as I'm driving for business, so I've got to track that. I took a picture of the odometer at the beginning of the year, so I have my beginning, and then my trip log app will will map all of my stuff, reimburse myself, and the difference between the two will be my personal miles, and I'll have it all highly documented. Good for you. Yeah, that is awesome. awesome. I'm protecting Benny myself. Benny I'm gonna cool put that in the in the in like uh, I'm gonna file that away because I get a lot of clients who are always looking for a good yeah kind of app it's, to track and their simple. Mileage. Right? So you just literally press start, and then when you get to where you're going, you press stop. Everyone should be able to do that, Woody. Yes, I should be able right? to do that, too. So, Don, I have a Don, I have a question for you. Okay, buddy. Um, you're, you're doing a lot of year-end stuff with QuickBooks, so what is your kind of key high level list that you go through for all these files? You know, i got to tell you, I'm going to be totally honest. Is that okay? Yes. The fact that there are clients who are in QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Desktop, different versions of QuickBooks Online, different years of desktop, and trying to have multiple people manage that all at one time. So, you know, a lot of that, you know, I've been working, I've worked by myself even a year ago, only had myself and two others, and now with six of us, the information cannot be stored in my brain. Right. Because then it's, that's not sharing, and sharing is caring. So um, getting all of that information out of your head and into, we use, are using QuickBase right now for our customer uh, manager, and being being able to, you know, so if Ann needs to go in and do 1099s for someone, she knows, first of all, are they on a QBO subscription that will allow you to do 1099s? Right. If Plus. they're not... You know, we're you know we've been really diligent this past year about making sure anybody that's in QBO that we can't file the 1099s or even track the 1099 information that we're putting it in the notes of the of that vendor record in QBO. Okay. So that way, when 1099s come, you at least have that information. So, right. you know, but but the, it's interesting as we're trying to wrap up year ends, you know, reconciling all the accounts, double checking. Um, we've been working hard on 1099s over the last four months, so we haven't. It's not just like we're just working on it now. We've been really on top of the data files. Wow. Um, but it's it's still really you know you got to make sure people that are paying people with credit cards that you know vendors aren't getting a 1099 from us if they accept credit cards and they're because they're going to get a 1099k okay. and so there's just so many so many pieces of to the puzzle and with them being in all different QuickBooks files. Is definitely been frustrating for us. Yes. Um, a good, I'll call it a good cleansing because it's a, it's getting us to clean up our data. Yeah. So in QuickBase, we're really making sure that every data file we touch, we double check QuickBase to make sure it's got the right, um, you know, making sure it's got the right QuickBooks. Which version is it in, and all that. Even even down to the QBO, is it essential, simple star, or whatever. So we're we're really starting to pay attention to that, so that you know if one person's out, somebody else picks up the information, we're not, you know, trying to call that person because, you know, while they're in the hospital, right, they right. bring their laptop, I mean, really. Um, <laughs> you know, they should be able to work from the hospital. Um, yeah, they got internet. So, right? Wireless. So, yeah, you got internet, big baby. So, you know, but but it's it's just an interesting growth as you're, as you have more people touching the files and you know, we did a client shift in the beginning of the, in the beginning of the year, and kind of pulled some files away from some people, moved them over, depending on, oh, well, you know what, you're working on this account, but this person's kind of related to that account, so let's have you just deal with both of them, and we've right. been doing a lot of that analysis, and it's just really different than when I, you know, I remember the days of doing things just all myself. 
Oh, or even just with Christine or just with Wendy, and now with three, it's it's a whole different ballgame. You really have to have your data in order, and we, right. we found that to be tough, but yet at the same time really good because we've been really on top of things, and we're just like, listen, if you have QuickBooks and you have it on your desktop, you're going to Unidata. So we've we've nice. turned three files over in the last week up to Unidata. Sweet. Um, to, just because we, we, we want access. We don't want yeah. to figure out where you are. Yeah. Um, and so um, that's been really great, pulling a couple people off the Mac. Um, nice. You know, got to get off them? the Mac. There's, Can there's, I be honest about QuickBooks where, where did you Mac? put them? Can I just, where did you put them from Mac where? where? Citrix. Oh. Citrix in the desktop. Okay. So you moved them to, so, I, oh, there's two cats. Two, two cats. cats. One really fluffy cat. That's leftover. He's Leftover about 80% fur. fur. He looks really fat. He is not that fat. I want to be fat. I know, right? He, I well, yeah. He's and then fluffy. the black one is Clilly, and that's the kitten. And I've never seen a kitten as fat as she is. She's a fat kitten. She's uh, probably eating other kittens. You don't even know it. I know, right? So uh, I'm really surprised that you're moving them, and I, I'm not. Be, my thing is with QuickBooks for Mac, the only reason, and this is bad, uh, the only reason I even have it installed on my computer is so that I can do conversions to QBO. So when I get a client that's on Mac we and, and they want us to do their books, we just automatically just move them uh, to QBO. So I have some screen share of stuff that I want to do tonight. So if you want it, killed all. Don is done. Is yeah, Don done though? I mean, is there anything else you I, wanted to add regarding? No, I, no, not really. I mean, it's just, I guess because you just asked, you know, kind of how are we, how are we faring, like at year yes, end. Yes, that's fine. But we're 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 just really we're really realizing the importance of having all the information in one place and being accurate, regardless of where you know where it is. We need we need to have that together so people can get it. You know, we have tax preparers. We have four tax preparers. I have two tax partners. Plus um, Kevin, who works in my office, and myself. So there's four of us preparing returns who have to get access to these data files, and that's been part of our WTF um, with the whole inviting people to get, getting into a freaking QuickBooks Online file, or they're a desktop, and so when there's a taxpayer trying to get a report yeah. to prepare. So that's been an interesting frustration for us, and so, we're going to. Yeah, and and QuickBase, how's that working for you guys as a as a tool? It, I, I love it because I wrote it. <laughs> I wrote ours. I wrote our quick base. Um, it's, it's just got all the information anytime, anywhere. It's very, 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 very rare that it's down. And I really, yeah. I really like quick base. I'm, I'm a yeah. big fan. Well, we use it internally, of course, and it's great. Yeah. I, I like it, too, for that stuff. And it, it looks and old love, and I stuff. Really I, can, I can add fields and customize yeah, yeah. And filter reports. Like, I'm an animal yeah. on now I think that I think that you guys as as resellers can sell QuickBase too, right? Isn't that you true? have to be in the, no. in the QuickBase reseller program. It's oh, different. Okay. And Dawn is one of those elite. So oh, nice. right, you Not still do that. you still do QuickBase, right? There's only like three people that are QuickBase resellers. It's like you and Robin and maybe one other person, right? Yeah, I don't I don't. It's not my focus, but I can still sell it. I don't, but I and can. Then, um, but I love I it. Just have, Stacy, before you, you share out, if I can just have one more question for yeah, Don. Yeah, go Don, for it. You know, um, Don, thanks I'm for being our the... guest tonight, Don. <laughs> great. It's been great. <laughs> thanks for having me. Well, hey, you I know just, what? It's been awesome. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to, uh, the reasons for all these questions for Don is I think a lot of people are in the year-end mode, so since you're doing it too, you brought it up, it just seems really good. But this is an unrelated topic, but equally as important. And I'm going to tell you, as a long-time New England Patriots fan, I'm a little annoyed by the deflate gate uh, uh, crap that's going on, that the balls were deflated, and that that's the reason why the Colts lost. So I just wanted to get your take on yet another, you know, uh, I don't know, what do you, what do you call this? So here's, so here's your problem. Here is where your problem lies. So if you want to... If you want to play this, the ball is not inflated. The <laughs> three-hour ball... The three-hour normal football game will now become a 12-hour football game because we're going to have to toss a, um, a measurement ball. on every football for every play. But, you know what, Woody? Not only that. So from now on, we also should inspect every pair of cleats. Every, right. like, there should be, you know, line up, fellas, bend over and cough. Like, really? <laughs> Is that where we're going to, for NFL? 
So People just listen, love to hate. You know they love to hate Belichick. They I hate, hate losing just as much, if not more, than the next person. Right. But I'm not like that. Is just ridiculous. It is. And People are laughing. That's not why you lost. You lost because you got beat. Yeah. That's it. It's simple. Yeah. Can, you know I weigh in on, can I weigh in on yeah. football? Sure. Yeah, please. So I know you guys are huge Patriots fans, but as I texted Dawn on Saturday, yeah. I sort of, the other team, Seahawks, is that it? Yeah, they're very okay. good. So I am sort of rooting for them only because I like... Their? There's a cat, by the way, there's a cat right there. Um, I'm sort of rooting for them only because I like the neon green uh, yes. that goes down the side of what I referred to in the text as costumes to Dawn uh, because I think that it accentuates their hips quite nicely. So yes. that's the okay. only reason why I would want uh, a team that you and Dawn, and even Kelsey from TG's, who are not very passionate, who are passionate about, it's the only Kelsey reason why, I would, yeah. yeah, like why I would root uh, against uh, your your Patriots uh, because I like the Seahawks costumes. I'm just gonna say, and I'm gonna well, continue to call them costumes because, just because. But I do I, like I, the I, neon green on the side. That's good. I, I yeah. don't know if there's a worse color than neon green. I think it might be on the really that low scale of, of colors that you probably stay away from. You know, they could probably use that color. Well, no, you wouldn't use that color in prisons because I think it would incite, you know, a lot of violence and anger. Neon green is terrible. <laughs> a terrible color. No, you know what? I'm, I'm saying that I, I kind of like it. It's bright. It's, it's refreshing. Um, it, yeah, and I think that it looks we're quite... We're playing a bunch of girls, Woody. We better not get beat by a bunch of girls. And I think that oh, it looks... Man. It really... Those, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but football players, they wear some tight pants. And, and so pants I... Everything. And I feel like the green on the side really highlights... Uh, the curves cool. of their thighs. I think that's a good a yeah. reason as any so, to jump on the Seahawks bandwagon. I think that's great. It's a tough team. Too bad their coach wasn't a better coach when he was coach of the Patriots. That would have been nice, but I'm glad yeah. he's having a nice run now. Mm -hmm. Carroll, good for him. But I, I can't believe Kevin I just can't Dawn, even. In the winter, in the winter time, don't you kind of deflate your tires on the car a little? Oh right yeah. In the winter time, still sure. better traction. You don't want it to blow. Want them to blow up? We didn't want right. the football to blow up. What do you want? I just don't understand. I'm All just, right, go I'm ahead, Steve. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Stacy, share. Yeah, sorry about no, that. No, it's okay. What? No, I just wanted to weigh in on my aspect Young of the Green. game. I did do, I did do uh, squares. I did do some football squares. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know how that works. I picked three. Uh, so, <laughs> yep. I don't know. <laughs> All right then. So That's there's awesome. that. There's and that. all I have to say is I really want you guys, I want your team to win because Kevin has told me that Tom Brady is, and I quote, arguably one of the best quarterbacks ever. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's accurate. Okay. So he has told me that. And Listen, he can, he can throw a half, a half pumped up football. Right. <laughs> the guy can, he can throw a deflated football better than any of them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. I just like being able to weigh in. And the fact no, it's that good. I, I did not even mean to, uh, in a, but I inadvertently texted you and called them costumes when I know that they're uniforms. Yeah. No, I, costumes. That's good. I think, no, the Seahawks uniform is a costume. I think that's a very good uh, description of the Seahawks uniform. It's a costume. It's like... <laughs> It's like the Oregon Ducks, you know. That's a costume. That's like Halloween. But that's I will fun. say this. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was probably about 15 years ago, and they. I don't know if every team did it, but I know that the Lions did it, where they had like these throwback costumes, where they had like black socks and very plain uh, shirts. And I kept. I. It was like an ex-boyfriend. It was way, way back, way, way back before Kevin and I even started dating. And I was watching the game with that ex-boyfriend and his dad, and I kept calling them costumes. And every time I did, the guy I was dating would look at me with like this look of just death. Like, I'm letting you sit here, watch the game with me and my dad, 
who's like the most diehard Lions fan, and you keep calling them costumes. But I can't. I'm. I took dance lessons forever, so everything that's not regular clothes is pretty much a costume, as far as I'm concerned. So there's that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So. The reason why I want to show this out is because I am admin on Seth David's um, accountant's bookkeeper business owner, his ABO group on Facebook. So uh, there was a lot of chat. I think there was over 40 uh, comments on one of the um, uh, threads today about shortcuts in QuickBooks Online and people didn't realize that you could do shortcuts uh, when you're using QuickBooks Online and we've been talking about this um, when we did the live QBO cert. Uh, so many people a, when I asked people how many of you guys use shortcuts in desktop, you know, we'd have close to 200 people in the room and maybe three people would answer the phone, or answer the phone, raise their hand. Or I would say how many of you guys know, didn't even know about them and almost everybody would raise their hand. Um, so the fact that so many people don't even know the shortcuts are in desktop leads me to believe that even less people know about the shortcuts that are in uh, QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to go ahead and do a screen share um, and I'm going to just show you some of the screen shares and I just want to comment that these are not my searches. Uh, I just noticed that Bears 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 uh, YouTube page, <laughs> these are not mine. I'm going to close these out. I believe these are my daughters. Uh, she's 12 and a half and apparently she was searching for bears. Uh, so I'm logged into the demo file that we used for uh, QuickBooks Online or the live QuickBooks certification and it's one of Woody's demo accounts. So if you haven't seen the new QBOA, this is basically what the accountant dashboard looks like. When you first log in, you're going to have a list of your customers and I'm going to go directly to my client's QB uh, QBO account and I'm going to just click right on the QuickBooks icon right here and it's going to open up the client data right there in the file. What I do want to point out that's pretty cool is you can actually do this client switcher and this is uh, one of the things that I love and I can't wait for the new QBOA is that yeah. you can really quickly switch back and forth between one client to yeah. another. So you don't have to go back to your QBOA, even though if I want to, I can click the QuickBooks Accountant logo and I can get back to my dashboard. The other thing I want to take a minute to point out, we have about three or four minutes, you know what, maybe I might go over 8.30, it's okay, uh, is the Accountant Toolbox. So one of the things that was a little bit annoying with the old QBOA is that some of the Accountant tools were located on the Accountant homepage and some of them were in the gear icon in the Accountant menu. And what they did with the new QBOA is they put everything all together in what is called the Accountant Toolbox. So if you're using Intuit Tax Online, you have a direct link to the Books to Tax, the Reclassify, Voided Transaction, all of the Accountant tools are right here, right at your fingertips. And I love that because I use Back to Reclassify uh, not necessarily to reclassify, but I'll use the batch reclassify screen when I get a new QBO client to verify whether or not their products and services are set up correctly. And what I mean, I'm just going to go to that really quick. This is a slight tangent. And what I mean by that is when I'm in the reclassify uh, screen, if I filter this to show item based transactions, uh, what happens is I can click on whatever account that I need to, and it's going to show me transactions that include products and services or items in QuickBooks Online. And if I were down here in my cost of goods sold and I saw, or maybe not my cost of goods sold, but in an expense account, right, and uh, for whatever reason, and I saw a bunch of invoices here, and maybe I don't have any inventory, so cost of goods sold isn't a good example, but if I'm looking at some sort of expense and I see a bunch of uh, uh, invoices or sales receipts here, I pretty much know that the items that are used on those uh, invoices or sales receipts are pointing not to an income account, but they're pointing to an expense account. So I like to use the screen as a really uh, quick way to make sure that my clients have their items set up right. So just nice. that's one thing. The other thing that I want to mention are the keyboard shortcuts. So what I'm doing here is I'm hitting Control Alt question mark. Oh wait, not in the screen. Hold on. Let me go over to the home screen. If I hit Control Alt question mark, I'm going to get a list of keyboard shortcuts. 
They're very similar, if you're familiar with the ones in desktop, they're very similar to the ones that are in desktop. The only difference is that instead of just control W to open up the right check screen, you're going to do control alt W to write checks. So you don't have to memorize these, but if you're familiar with the ones in desktop, all you really need to remember is to add the alt key, uh, and you can get to all these keyboard shortcuts. So if I go ahead and close this out, I'm hitting control alt W, and I get the right check screen. It just pops right up. Um, I can close that out. If I hit control alt I, uh, I'm getting the create invoice screen. So I wish they these had keyboard a, uh, shortcuts. I wish they had control yeah. alt Y, though. Control alt Y would be sweet. Hello? Can Which you one? I didn't, you broke up a little bit. Control Alt Y. Mm, mm hmm. You know, the. Yeah, the, the Control Alt Y, journal. which shows you the, the journal entry behind it. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, but you know what? You can get to that if you go to the, the, audit, the audit log. Well, you can get there from the you more can get tab, to that. too. So, yeah. Yeah, that's true. And the other thing, too, that I want to point out, and this is what a lot of people um, don't realize, is if I go into uh, maybe write an invoice here, I'll do my Control-Alt-I, and I can, I, you can use keyboard shortcuts. So this is showing, you know, today's date. If I wanted to get to the beginning of the month, I would just hit the M key. So if it's month, you want, you want to get to the beginning of the month, you click M. To get to the end of the month, you hit H. Uh, if I want to get back to today, I'm going to click T. So, and I can use the plus or minus to go one back or one forward, uh, depending on what I need to do. Uh, if I want to get to the beginning of the year, it's Y. The end of the year is R. The week, the beginning of the week, end of the week. Uh, so. And it's going to show you whatever is showing. Like uh, generally, it's whatever. Like the week is going to show you the beginning of the week that you are currently have. So you know, if I click today and I hit W, it's going to take me to the beginning of that week. So these are just a couple keyboard shortcuts. The other thing that a lot of people don't realize, desktop will let you do the math. It'll math it for you, and it'll give you kind of a little tape. It looks like a little uh, adding machine tape. QuickBooks Online does the same thing. And you can see as I'm typing in all of these numbers here and I'm clicking the plus to make it do the math, it won't give me the tape. But once I click the tab key, it will math it for me. So you don't have to worry about it. That is still there. It just looks a little bit different than in desktop. Um, the other thing that I want to mention, and I'm going to go ahead and close this out, is uh, I like to have multiple tabs open. A lot of people don't understand that you can have, there's, they say there's no open windows list in QuickBooks Online. So you don't need an open windows list because you're using this in a browser. So what you can do is just right click on your tab and if you click duplicate or duplicate, it's going to open up the same thing in another tab. And what's really neat is if you want to look at these, I think QuickBooks Online does a better job of letting you utilize multiple monitors than the desktop does. So with the desktop, you're really stuck um, you know, in the frame of QuickBooks Desktop. And generally, that's on one monitor, unless you stretch the whole QuickBooks program ac across your multiple monitors. And what I can do with QuickBooks Online is I can actually just pull these tags, tabs off. If I drag and drop, I can pull that tab off. And what I can do is, if we pretend that I have multiple uh, monitors, I can now look at some of this stuff. Whoops. I can look at some of this stuff uh, next to each other. So if I want to compare some reports or if I want to have a report open in here, uh, you know, maybe I might want to, um, you know, search for, uh, you know, maybe a, a profit and loss. So I'll have a P&L open over here and then over here in this screen, I might want to have, you know, a check open. Maybe I'm writing a check. Uh, so I can have this stuff open and if I need to, all I have to do is drag and drop and put this back in there. Uh, so nice. it's really cool. Uh, so those are just a couple of things. I know it was a there was a lot of discussion about this on the ABO group today, and oh. I just wanted to 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 mention that so I could link them uh, to this show because it it was kind of you know it, it was a big conversation. I mean there was like over 40 comments on this one uh, post on the, the blog. Multiple so. tabs thing. 
Well, just the keyboard shortcuts and just navigating. Okay. And that's yeah. one of the things I think is the biggest problem with people who are new to QuickBooks Online is, you, you know, they don't, a lot of people are just afraid to click. They think that they're going to screw stump, something up. I remember the first time Dawn figured out that you could do multiple AR and AP lines, okay. she called me and told me she broke it. Do you remember that? Was that? Years ago. I know, but it was, but like you were really surprised because you didn't know that it did it. It was like four years ago. Oh, yeah. It was before oh, we even did more the, than four years ago. No, but well, no, it was like yeah, I've been gone was, for three and a half years from that evil. Okay, it was four and a half years ago because it was right before we started doing the show. But she was like, I think I killed all. I think I broke it because she was new to QBO, and I think what happens for a lot of people who are new to using QuickBooks Online is they're afraid to click or you know maybe they just it doesn't occur to them that they can click on some of the stuff um, and next week there was other stuff I wanted to talk about well, we're already five minutes over yeah um, I, I really wanted to show the so that. you know bef when I'm doing a, a webinar for a, for a firm or whatever I always start with navigation tips and tricks before I even go into customer workflow or vendor or whatever. I think that's true. I think right. if for desktop people, you need to give them a, throw them a bone, you know, and, and show these little tips, and I think well, it yeah. really helps acclimate. And I, you know? I really try, I really try to show them as often as I can. So whenever we're, I'm doing a webinar just in general, I try to call it out, even though it may not be part of the deck or part of the actual, you know, curriculum in the webinar really try to do some of those tricks because that's one of the I think one of the most common things I get asked is there's no open windows list how can I have multiple windows open um, and I, I think that's just you know they're just maybe not familiar uh, with working you know in Chrome or, or maybe they're just not familiar in working in a browser in general and that's totally fine because why would you necessarily know that you could open up you know, the same, you could open up, I mean, you could have a hundred windows open up, you know, a hundred tabs in the same QBO session. I yeah, haven't even gotten only, into Chrome users the yet. Only we'll thing do that though, next week. The only thing, though, that I would like to work on is you have to refresh them. So if I am writing a check and I yeah. open another tab, it's not going to auto-refresh. So I think, you know, the extra thing of clicking the refresh thing. I still think it's fine. It's not that it's bearable, but I'd like to hit the auto refresh, you know, those things. I and I completely agree with that. Um, the thing too that and I always forget about that. I think because I there's a lot of stuff that I forget is not intuitive. No, mm -hmm. you know, no pun intended. Oh, that's good. good um, word for it. Right. Uh, for new QBO users, I think because, I mean, 2015, this marks 11 years that I've been using the product. So stuff that nice. I just, am like, yeah, it just, that's just how it is. Um, I right, think for right. new users is not very intuitive. I mean, I spent all day answering questions via text um, from Greg Boston that I was like, oh, because he's doing um, like a QuickBooks Made Easy a program yeah. for uh, and using QBO. and. Nice. There are questions that I was getting from him, like really simple one, like you can't set undeposited funds as default, like you can in desktop. No, you can't. You can't do splits from the register. No, you can't. Um, you know, so stuff that I forget that is going to not be so obvious to a new user, I'm really glad that I get to do these live events and that I have. Well, you know, and, and like when you say, yeah, when you say new users, let's qualify. These are people coming from desktop. If you're not coming from desktop, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, you don't have anything to compare it to, and you're just right. you know. Exactly. And, and the undeposited funds, right? There's no preference, but as long as no one changes the field, you know, it's sticky, right? It always <laughs> right? be there. So that's true. I like to point that out on webinars too. I have been because. You know, I'm like, look, if you see a bunch of singular payments as deposits and they didn't group them together, it's probably because, you know, they're putting it into checking. Yep. And here's where you go to change it. Sure. I, I think, though, I still think not having to deal with file transfer, it, it, the ability to not have to deal with that, what your QuickBooks you on, that the benefits of QBO for that outweighs some of these detail things that hopefully were and I enhancing. And I, I mean, I completely agree. Uh, it's... Just, I have a client who, I have one client left on desktop, 
and the reason they're on desktop and they're hosted with Unidata, the, I know, and the reason I moved my very, okay, so this is a land, I'm just going to say this, this was a landmark day for me with QBO because one, I actually manually entered, just because this is the only way we can do it, my very first client ever works at a very small, he, he <coughs> uses a very small local bank that doesn't import into, it doesn't sync, I can't do a bank feed, I've never been able to, able to in 11 years of working with him uh, at all. So every check that they handwrite, because they're an auto shop, he doesn't use credit cards. Uh, when they get parts delivered, they handwrite a check. Uh, so all the handwritten checks are generally all parts. And we have to go in and manually enter them. So today was the first time in 11 years I had to manually enter like 27 checks into QBO. And then this is the first time I have ever had to do it. I had to print paper checks from QuickBooks Online. And it worked fine. I mean, I had to do the, you know, the whatever, the alignment and everything. Um, but it didn't take me any, I wasn't at his office any longer than I had been when I was using batch, uh, batch enter transactions with desktop. So I was pretty excited. No, that's cool. That's really cool. Here, Don. Here you yes, go. sir. Don Flake, F your QBO. Yeah, I'm ignoring you. But no, I like no, no. Doc. Abby. Abby, come here, bud. I don't mind. Oh, oh, hi, sweet girl. Oh, there she is. Hi. Right. No? Yeah, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh. See, that's a perfect way to end the show. Oh, she's so sweet. She's Those cool. Cheeks. You got a block? Actually, that's a you got a block? She wants to see monitor. <laughs> so much better you than me, man. Oh, I know. I know. Baby oh, monitor? Man. She's pretty Hi, good, though. Where'd you, where'd you go? Are you still in there? I can't see. Oh, there you are. There you are. Right. Hey, buddy. Oh, Hi, Abby hello? girl. Abby. Hi. Abby girl, do you like QuickBooks desktop, honey? <laughs> oh, what about QBO? Tell me. <laughs> He's like, awesome. Played the fifth. All right. So next yeah. week. Yeah, next week, what do we got? So next week, we don't have any guests. Uh, but next week, I want to uh, talk about Chrome users, and I want to talk about QuickBooks Labs next week. Those are my yes. things that I didn't Let's get a chance do that. to show. Let's do that. I don't uh, know if I can be on because I'm traveling to New York City on Tuesday night. Well, you can if you want to rest. That's cool. I'll be on. I got nothing going off. on yet. What do you We're have to cool. I'll get there in time. Hey, did you know, Stacy, that you can collapse the left-hand panel in QBO now? Yes, I did. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, I really like it. It gives me a lot more real estate. I really do like yeah. that. The Ooh. other thing I want to mention is that All next right. Thursday, uh, Dawn will be traveling to New York on Tuesday. I will be traveling to New York on Thursday, and I Good will too. get to uh, have dinner with the Riz. Uh, you guys may know him as Matt Rissell from T Sheets and oh, Kelsey the Riz. and Dawn. Nice. Uh, yeah. And uh, my our girl Meredith and Andres from uh, Fundera. And then next Friday, I will be working uh, from the Fundera offices in New York City. So I'm really excited. Uh, to be able oh, to go cool. hang out with our T-Sheets peeps, and I get to see Dawn. I'm so excited. That's what I'm most excited Dawn. about. Yeah. Flying yeah. appointments well, on Thursday and stuff, so it'll be good. I don't think that, that, that you guys are allowed in this New York City at the same time, right? Well, you know what? I don't think we've ever been in Friday. New York City. Probably after Thursday we won't, but we've never been in New York City, I think, but maybe once together. I'm gonna be going to uh, I'm yeah, and I'm gonna leave at noon on on uh, Friday, so it won't be a long trip. Oh, Abby, it's okay, buddy. I got I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go somewhere with my mom. Yeah, she didn't like that one. I don't know. Yeah, she didn't like that at all. She didn't like it. <laughs> for the for the city of New York. I get it. Yeah. yeah. She's really upset right, about. So I'll see you guys. I'll see you, Woody, next Tuesday. Yep. Dawn, I'll see yeah, I'll you here. next Thursday. Abby, hopefully, we'll see her, you know, on the Twitters like we usually do. Yeah, and, uh, we wanna... She's an animal. I know. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I want to just thank uh, again our audience, and I also want to thank our sponsors, Avalara, T Sheets, yes. and UnidataIT.com. Awesome. As always, we love you guys more than you know. So, peace out, everybody. Have a good night. Or, or <laughs> probably, it probably as much as you know. All right, you no, guys I think more. Out. More. I'm going to say it's more well, than it's they. Not as much. They as can you even think. really understand. No, <laughs> okay. I'm going to say it's more. I'm going to say right. more. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to Miller Light. You guys have a great night. Good night. We'll see you. Yeah. Miller Light. Yeah. Miller Light. What are you talking about, Miller Light? Throw away your thumb drives, no attachments Get the files anywhere when you're permitted access What's the matter? Frustrate with the hassle Jump up in the cloud and join us in the castle high up in the cloud